Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Wisdom. I'm Misty Cassandria and this is Lesson 79. Yes, we are still with the headline. There is much to say and we still can't cover all of it. All right, so this is the second in a series this week. The third one will be on the following day. And the ones you see in front of you is an illustration on your left and one on your right. Here's an illustration of the headline. It is still tied to the lifeline in both examples. But let's take a look at the one on the left and be sure that you are also looking at your left hand. If you are, uh, I don't know whether you're left-handed or right-handed, but look at the left hand and also look at the right hand, not just one hand. Okay, now what's going on here with the one on the left, it says headline clings to lifeline. That lifeline is still tied, but it clings, meaning it's like it doesn't want to let it go. It doesn't want to become independent on its own. And if we put a time on this, near uh, following the timeline for the lifeline, we can see that they are still in their 20s, late 20s, when they finally get enough courage to pull out, to leave, to be on their own. This is mentally now. Usually it's a late start in life. That's how it's thought of. But there's much more to say. Why is it like this? Because it's common. We do see this a lot. Okay, so when two lines cling together as you're looking there between the headline and the lifeline. Sometimes the, head, the headline leaves the lifeline further down the lifeline. Okay? We can be a late starter in life, often under parental control until well into our 20s, as we see in this example. Often over sensitive, sometimes withdrawn. We have been happy to let others help us run our everyday life because we're so used to it. Very often our parents were overprotective or even a little heavy handed. Either way, self-conscious, sorry, self-confidence needed to be developed. If we have this line formation, we should assume responsibility and face difficulties head on and should be aware of slipping into co-dependent relationships, constantly seeking approval or being non-committal in love affairs. It may be that to compensate for this hesitancy, we learn greater decision-making abilities in our later years. So it's saying, maybe later on in life, they'll sort of see the light and make some changes in that situation. It can be, but usually, uh, for example, when they go back home, it's the same thing. They're so used to it. And the parents or the guardians would have not changed. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Here's one with a lot of disruptions. It's fragile. Fragile. You see that circle under the index finger, almost between the index and the ring? That is what we call an island. There's a big disruption mentally. It's like a breakdown in the thought, a feeling of de depression. But look, the interesting thing is that fragile line. What could be causing this? Sometimes there are other signs on it. But in this case, when you see a line like this, I'm talking about after the circle, or after the island, it's because of drugs or other addictive substances that would pose a greater risk to our emotional, physical, and mental health. They all together. So when you see that, it's always good to take a look at the lifeline. That's your health and see what's going on. And you could take a peek at the heart line, see what's happening with the emotion. Everything is affected. 
So that's something to really take into consideration. All right? So these are the two that we covered today. If you understood it, remember to give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. As usual, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care of yourself and be safe. Bye.